Hello children, I hope all of you are healthy and fine. I am Priyamvada, teaching English from Kendri Vidalaya Radia and today I am going to discuss the first chapter of class 6. Who did Patrick's homework? Before we begin the story, let's get introduced with our author. The author Carol Moore is an avid reader. She loves to read books and she is now fulfilling her lifelong dream of writing for children. She doesn't only write those stories, she also illustrates them. And you will see some of the original illustrations done by Carol Moore in this video. Before we start reading the story, I want to ask you a few questions. Think about it. Do you like doing homework? What about other household chores like making up your bed or tidying up your room? Do you think this work is necessary or useful? Do you think they contribute to our life in any way that learning these works are necessary for our life? Think about these things because the story we are going to read is based on these points. This story has two characters. The first character and the main character is a very little lazy boy named Patrick who hates doing homework. His teachers and parents always advise him about doing his homeworks and other things. But she ignores everyone and always plays games all day. The second character is the elf. Do you know what an elf? What is an elf? An elf is a magical being and in this story, this elf is very small, as small as a doll. Our Patrick saves this elf from the clutches of cat and because of this, the elf grants Patrick a wish. He promises that he will do anything Patrick asks. So, let's read. And here are those illustration students that I was talking about, those these pictures you see right now are illustrated by our dear author. Patrick never did homework. Too boring, he said. He played hockey and basketball and Nintendo instead. His teachers told him, Patrick, do your homework or you won't learn a thing. And it's true. Sometimes he did feel like an ignoramus. But what could he do? He hated homework. So, our Patrick never did any homework. He thought that doing homework is for boring people. And he liked to spend his time playing all kinds of games. Students, in this story, there are some unfamiliar words. And you, if you see the right hand side of this page, you will see that they, the meaning of those words are given there. So, just follow them. Then one day, he found his cat playing with a little doll and he grabbed it away. To his surprise, it wasn't a doll at all, but a man of tiniest size. He had a little wool shirt with old-fashioned breeches and a high doll hat much like a witch's. He yelled, save me, don't give me back to the cat, I will grant you a wish, I promise you that. There is a funny thing, students. Do you notice? Though it is a story, it is written almost like a poem. There are rhyming words. Just see in the second paragraph. Surprise, size, breeches, witches, cat, that. So these stories, these words rhymes with each other. Throughout the whole story, you can find rhyming words like that. That really makes the story a little bit more beautiful and interesting, don't you think? Patrick couldn't believe how lucky he was. Here was the answer to all of his problems. So he said, only if you do all my homework till the end of the semester, that's 35 days. If you do a good enough job, I could even get A's. So obviously, like when we get help, unexpected help, for our works, Patrick is very excited. 
He hated to do his homework. His teachers are always bugging him. And now there is a ready-made remedy. An elf, he is promising that he will do anything Patrick wants. So Patrick is thinking that only 35 days are left to till the end of the semester and he has a lot of homework. So here is someone who will help him get through all his homeworks. The little man's face wrinkled like a disc cloth thrown in the hamper. He kicked his legs and doubled his fists and he grimaced and scowled and pursed his lips. Oh, I am cursed, but I will do it. And true to his word, the little elf began to do Patrick's homework. Except there was one glitch. The elf didn't always know what to do and he needed help. Help me, help me, he would say and Patrick would have to help in whatever way. I don't know this word. The elf squeaked while reading Patrick's homework. Get me a dictionary. No, what's even better, look up the word and sound it out by each letter. When it came to maths, Patrick was out of luck. What are timetables? The elf shrieked. We elves never need that. And additions and subtractions and divisions and fractions? Here, sit down beside me. You simply must guide me. Elves know nothing of human history. To them, it's a mystery. So the little elf, already a shouter, just got louder. Go to the library. I need books. More and more books. And you can help me read them too. So, see what's happening here? Patrick thought that he will spend all his time playing games when the elf will do his homework. But there is a small problem, a glitch. The elf doesn't know what to do because he is a magical being. He has never, he had never done any of these works. So, Patrick now has to help him all the time. As a matter of fact, every day, in every way, that little elf was a nag. Patrick was working harder than ever and was it a drag? He was staying up nights, had never felt so weary, was going to school with his eyes puffed and blurry. So Patrick is really tired of working all night and all day. When he is going to school, his eyes are puffed up and blurry. He, that is unfocused eyes because he hadn't had any sleep in night, at night. Finally, the last day of school arrived and the elf was free to go. As for homework, there was no more. So he quite quietly and slyly slipped out the back door. So, according to their promises, 35 days were over and the elf was free from his promise and he was free to go. And he slipped out quietly and secretively. So, Patrick would not stop him anymore. Patrick got his A's, his classmates were amazed, his teachers smiled and were full of praise. And his parents, they wondered what had happened to Patrick. He was now the model kid, cleaned his room, did his chores, was cheerful, never rude. Like he had developed a whole new attitude. You see, in the end, Patrick still thought he had made that tiny man do all his homework. But I'll share a secret. Just between you and me, it wasn't the elf. Patrick had done it himself. So, yes, Patrick had helped that elf so much that doing that, he had learned all these things by himself. And not only his homework, his learnings had given him a better perspective of life. He is now a model kid, a good and obedient, cheerful kid sweetly talks to everyone, does all his chores and is never rude to anyone. So we can say that Patrick, the marks he had got, all his A-graded marks, he really deserved it. And at least he didn't cheat. He is thinking, still thinking that little man had done all his works. But he, in reality, Patrick had done it by himself. In the story, most of the words that are difficult, the meanings are already given in your book. But there are some words the, whose meanings and the meaning of those words are not given in that book. So I have listed those words 
for you to see. So, students, what have we learned so far? This story is a humorous one, isn't it? We like this story. This story makes us smile. But this story also delivers an excellent message, a lesson. What is that lesson? Sometimes in our life, we avoid doing difficult things, don't we? Though we know the importance of those things, importance of doing homework, importance of doing other household chores, still sometimes we think that avoiding them is easy. We sometimes leave our works till the last day and copy them from our friends. But the thing is that if we do do that cheating, then we will never learn something and we will never prosper, we will never move forward in our life. It's just like climbing up a staircase, don't you think? You can never climb a staircase if you don't climb the first one and two steps. Without climbing the first two steps, you can never climb the third and fourth steps. And if you try, there is a chance that you will fall. Just like that, in life, we must accept our responsibilities, our duties. Just like that, tree, if we do, if we complete our duties by ourselves, then only we can move ahead in life. In life. So, now it's time to go through the question and answers in the book. See the first question. What did Patrick think his cat was playing with? Before I tell you the answer, I want you to pause the video for a second and think about it. Now, I'm going to tell you the answer. Yes, Patrick thought his cat was playing with a little doll. Second question. Why did the little man grant Patrick a wish? Patrick had saved the little man from the clutches of the cat. So, the little man granted him a wish. What was Patrick's wish? Patrick wished that the elf would do all his homework till the end of the semester for 35 days. In what subjects did the little man need help to do Patrick's homework? The little man needed help in English, Mathematics and History. How did Patrick help him? Patrick worked hard, stayed up nights and helped the elf by using a dictionary and guiding him in Mathematics and also History. Who do you think Pat did Patrick's homework? The little man or Patrick himself? Give reasons for your answer. Just as I explained in the last paragraph, Patrick himself did his homework because Patrick had to help the little man so much doing that he had learned all the all his lessons and that is how he did he himself did all his homeworks. So now it is time for a quick quiz. Just close your book and Tell me the answers of these questions. The first question, Patrick's pet was, you can see there are four options, which is the correct option. Yes, you are right. The correct option is a cat. Sure means, again you are right, it means every day works. Patrick thought his cat was playing with a, right, doll. What was too boring for Patrick? Obviously, doing his homework. Patrick's semester ended in 35 days. What is the meaning of the word slyly? In this story, slyly means secretively. So now it's time for your homework. Just like Patrick, I hope you will do all your homeworks by yourself. So, children, I hope you have enjoyed the story. Would you like to read stories, more stories like this by Carol Moore? If you do, there are some names for you. You can look it up and read the stories. I'm sure you will enjoy these stories also. I will end it today now. Stay at home, stay safe and keep reading. Have a good day.